public health in, angle and the epidemiologic an, angle, uh, one of the dominant worries of our civilization is the fact that it appears that mood and anxiety disorders and all kinds of distress in teenagers is, you know, is much more prevalent now than say 20 years ago. Do you really believe that? Or is it just that we're detecting more things? Or are today's teens just wimps and they just don't know how to handle things? I mean, what's going on here? Well, I think a couple of things. From my reading of the literature, and be interested in your perspective on this, is that when we use similar diagnostic criteria, including functional impairments, prevalence of major mental disorders has not changed all that substantively. What we have seen is an increase in accessing care, uh, part of which uh, can be, I think, explained by greater awareness that these mental disorders exist and that care should exist. That's a whole other conversation. However, I think we're also seeing, certainly in the last decade and a half, maybe a little bit longer, a degree of distress and tolerance that uh, is being confused with the negative emotions that require treatment. And I think that there are multiple and complex and social factors at play. And I'm no sociologist, I don't wanna to pretend to be. But I do notice that public tolerance for distress, particularly in young people, has changed dramatically from the 1950s, early 60s to today. And young people themselves rate their distress for the same stimulus way greater now than they did in the past. And I think expectations, I think that we've been living in Western world and not everybody, and this is, I wanna come back to this because this is so important, but generally we've been living in, in an era of superfluous abundance. Superfluous abundance has its health toll. And the physical health toll of superfluous abundance, in my opinion, is obesity. And the mental health toll for superfluous abundance is this idea that we are distress intolerant. So that if I'm unhappy, it means I'm depressed. If I feel worried, that means I'm anxious. And it's this modulation of the normative stress response when we're faced with stressors in our lives, which 30 or 40 years ago would have been thought to have been minor, but now they're major because the major ones haven't been there. And that's a problem from a number of reasons. But one of the big problems is, is that there are groups in our society who are still going through substantive challenges. Aboriginal First Nations, Inuit peoples, marginalized 